today I thought we'd take a quick look at the Imperial Fist models with this immense new Terminator character from Forge World. Hello and welcome back to Warspets Tactics, where today we're just here for a very quick video because there's a new shiny Terminator model out, I think you could see some good use in Warhammer 40k, and as Forge World Terminator sculpts go, I really really like this one. Over the last year or so, Forge World have been releasing quite a lot of characterful Legion Praetors, usually coming with a pair of very nicely themed character models going through each of the Space Marine Legions, and yesterday it was the turn of the Imperial Fists. I do recommend giving the others a look if you play one of the Space Marine Chapters or Traitor Legions. For Loyalists, they could easily be a stand-in for a themed Captain or Lieutenant, with far, far more Chapter-specific bling and some cool relic patterns of armour, exactly the sort of thing that you might expect the Chapter Command to have access to. In any case, here are the two Legion Praetor models. We've got one in Power Armour and one in Terminator Armour, both of which are adorned in Imperial Fist iconography, featuring a fair few Black Templar-esque crosses, and of course the chapter symbol of the Fists. I'll be honest, I think that the one in Power Armour is okay, though not desperately outstanding, but I think that Forge World have done a really, really good job with that Terminator. Just the way he's posed, the bulk of that armour, and that enormous stylized shield look incredibly weighty. If Imperial Fists are known for fortifying places, and this guy is certainly going to do that. I think he's got a particularly nice helmet that fits really quite nicely in that cataphractite armour as well. Basically an Imperial Fist going down a bit more of a knightly theme, which fits kind of perfectly with his power sword and storm shield. With Games Workshop's distribution being what it is, we don't really know when they're going to be out, but based on previous Legion Play Tours, typically the Terminators will tend to run you at around £26 or $41, the power armoured ones £22 or $35. That Terminator Captain in particular looks amazing for 40k use, and with the heraldry that he has, I think it could be equally at home in the Crimson Fists, or even in the Black Templars as well. Sure, he's got a few more fists than they'd normally have, but it's not like they're not successors of Dawn as well. That enormous cross motif on his shield would really fit in quite nicely with them, and they look great painted up in black and white as well, I think. In terms of captains, I think that the ones armed with Terminator armour and Storm Shields maybe are still in a slightly interesting place, Unless you're taking relics and things, they're one of the only captains that can get an effective 1 plus armour save. Could be a reasonable enough investment if you just want someone who's incredibly sturdy to bear some buffs, maybe combining re-rolls with the Eye of Hypnoth. I think if I were looking to pick him up, I might think about magnetising the other hand, maybe to give him the choice of things like Thunder Hammers or Power Fists. In any case, a pretty cool new model coming out from Forge World, and I feel like this might be a popular one with Imperial Fist and Black Templar players in 40k. Let me know what you think of the model down in the comments. Feel free to subscribe to Allspets Tactics if you'd like to see more on Games Workshop's news and updates as they come out. And if you'd like to help support the channel, there is a link to the Patreon page which is down in the video description. Making all the videos does take a fair amount of time, and if you'd like to help keep them coming, any support is enormously appreciated. In any case, a big thank you for listening, and I'll hope to see you guys next time.